Hi all, welcome to our 40, 81 to 86 pack opening. For I know there's not really going to be a great chance I may get some of these big cards, but I thought I might as well have some fun, rinse the club of the bronzes and silver that I no longer use, and obviously sold quite a few on for some good coins. So we could smash links, would be awesome, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at G is a legend. All the links are down below for posting the channel and social media links as always. And let me know in the comments down below folks what you've got in your packs, if you've done these at all. And remember to also smash that notification bell, would be massively appreciated. Didn't even realise I had a position modifier, must have got that from objectives. So, I'm hoping, I'm just hoping that we can consistently get a few boards. That's what I'm aiming for. It goes towards the um, icon SBC. And to start off with Rui Patricio isn't exactly bad. End of the day, like, whatever we get, like 83 plus especially, will go towards the icon SBC. That is practically all we're building for, and hopefully we get something, a few good packs, like, where it be informed, like, I've heard people apparently get icons, I'd love to know if that's true, like, I've not seen it myself, but um, apparently a few folk have, like, I think folks that when they tweet out or post on, like, YouTube, oh, I packed an icon, it's maybe, like, blank, like, if they're not sending you the image as proof, then you kind of have a little bit of doubt. But at the moment a mixed bag, but Lingard, if I was doing um, play of the month, um, Rashford wouldn't be too bad. But as I said, 40 of these, I would say surely we can get at least, I would say, if I could get, I'll say 3 to 4 walkouts. I'll aim for say a walkout every 10 packs, that would be a fair deal, I would say. But Kempembe, not too bad, like coin wise he would be worth a few coins. But it's the only downside with these packs is they're untradeable. That is like the only downside about these packs. But the only card I'm hoping that I don't get of 85s is Company. I'm sure it's Company, and there was an 80. I'm sure there's an 84 that I don't want. So as long as I don't get these guys consistently, I'll be quite happy. But I'm hoping I'm not too heavy in the 81, 82 pile. I'd kind of want to be seen quite a few consistent boards. I've had quite a few asked on Twitter as well and folk were saying oh it should just be called the 8182 SBC because that's all we're getting. Like I can understand that especially if you're only but folk have to remember if you're only doing like 5 or 10 then I could expect that but if you're doing 40 I'd hope and pray that you get a little bit more for your coins. But uh, Perotti not what we're wanting but we'll just keep pestering away. As I said even I might even do more off camera but I um, if if need be, but I'll just keep persevering, and like I don't know what like like I'm sure I've kind of worked out um, everything now pack wise. I feel like, I'm sure it's like the smoke beforehand is when you know you're getting a a board if you're not getting the um, the EA logo in the bottom. I'm pretty sure that's. Um, what you expect. I could be wrong. I, I feel like I should always know my packs, but it's bad of me. Like, I'm sometimes so good with knowing the packs, and then sometimes I'm not. Um, William Jose. I was kind of hoping for Jonas there. I'm sure Jonas might be the other one that I'm not kind of hoping for, because I'm sure I've got him tradable in the club, or it's untradable. I can't 100% remember. But I'm not going to complain. Oh, i got to walk out. Who are we getting? Who are we getting? What are you giving us? German. Cam, it's Ozo. We had Ozo. We've had o Ozo's done us a favour a few times. Let's put it this way: Ozo will be going in most likely the 86 route, I would imagine, because I think if memory serves me right, that's quite heavy on EPL. I'm quite sure. So I'm quite happy with that Ozo. Obviously, you'd kind of hope for big, but we've got to be realistic at the same time. Naby Keita, the minute you see Guinea flag, you know it's Naby Keita. Um, saying that, I wouldn't mind um, Senegalese and popping up. Manny, for example. Manny would be a nice card, but not bad at the moment. We're just slowly getting there for um, options. The one thing I'm quite intrigued is, is Man of the Match cards. That's what I'd be quite intrigued. Who's this? Which one? Oh, it's Bruno. Who could be in line for an inform this week? A second inform. That would be a very and that would be an appealing card. So I will not knock. Um, I'm sure. He, 
Yeah, that's fine. He's tradable. I was a bit panicky there. Cause I have got quite a few, um, like, 82 plus cards that are in that untradable pile. What are we getting? No. Oh, we're just getting a steady flow of boards now. This is actually getting quite good. Oh, oh this will be Marino. Which helps, because Marino and Chigueros, depending how I build the route, um, whether it be the 83 or the 84, that suddenly just helps uh, chemistry. It just makes it so easy. But the one like the one card I'd quite like is, now that I think about it, I'd really like one of the Man of the Match cards, where it would be... Um, just on topic of that, we actually get one. Who's this? Spanish? Left wing back? Well, another Villarreal player and it's Pedraza. That, like, I was honestly thinking, like, one of the match, man of the match cards would be rather nice to pack. Barkley appeals to me the most, I will admit. So getting that card isn't too bad. I, I doubt I'll be using him in any of the SBCs. He'll be a squad player if anything, but this card value and in all honesty, it's a, it's a special card that you never know might just suddenly become SBC useful. But it's good to know that we've got ourselves our first special card of the pack. So I was about to say stream there for a second. I was like, what if you say G? But at the moment, we've got Ozil being our standout highest rated card. And then obviously Pedraza being our um, standout um, special card. But I'm like I'm Socrates or no not Socrates Manolas I completely forget Manolas is a board as well <laughs> and he's higher rated that's even better oh I'll take a Manolas any day of the week but he'll just go but he'll just be one of these ones that'll just bung straight in the SPC like the cards I won't be using oh walkout another walkout man of the match. And it is Barkley! <laughs> I was trying to think there, I was like, what if? I thought, how, I thought, he's really a walkout? I thought, really? 84 rated walkout? I'll, I'm not going to complain, like, I'll have to give him a bash. I'll have to see if there's maybe play reviews of him first. But that isn't too bad in all honesty, that just kind of, um, what's that? Two walkouts, um, and then when you kind of think about it, you've got Manalas and Pedraza. So at the moment, it's not exactly been too bad from the packs that we've had. But obviously, we've still got it to kind of keep grinding, keep grinding, and hoping and praying that we get something that really... Um, like you never know. There could be still something brewing in these packs. I honestly don't know what could be. But when you're like, I might now suddenly go through this period of 81s, 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 and it, it will feel a bit flat on me, but at the same time, I will admit my 81, 82 supply is a bit light. So, hopefully, and I say hopefully, that the cards that even the 81s, 82s, you never know, depending on what I use in the base icon SBC, can go in accordingly. So, it won't be a complete disaster. But if, at the same time, I don't really want to be putting 81s back through SBCs just for the sake of, and um, for the sake of it. But, what are we getting on our board? Well, at least we're back on the board run. Brazil, Jonas! We're getting ourselves a Jonas. Who is worth like 9k, which, 8, 9k, which is actually kind of mental. Like, he's not the most desirable card in the world, but... Hey ho, what can you say? Like, our one's, tr like the one we got is tr um, obviously untradeable, the one we've got in the club was tradable, so if he's u if we've got to use them, then, and if we only have to use one of them, then I might take the coins for the other one, and then that gives us a healthy, like, 8k to work, an extra 8k to work with if we need. But, at the moment, just, Hoping and hoping and hoping we can just get ourselves not not just the boards that would kind of help us out. It's more a case of what kind of can we get in our walkout? Could we get an inform? Because the amount of informs that are actually about, I would have genuinely thought, especially in that eighty one eighty six um, pile, 
Uh, we should surely get an in for Belgian. Ah, oh, no! I didn't want him! I didn't want him! Oh, we've got to discard him. Oh, dear. Oh, that's rotten. I'm, I can't. The, thing, the annoying thing is, I, I don't want to be going off camera to suddenly do another SBC. I've just got to kind of bite my tongue and that kind of. It's one of those things. We've got to discard company. As I said, from the get go, it was the one card I wasn't hoping for if I got him. It's a pity, really, because um, it would have helped SBC wise, but I maybe should have just went and looked. And one of the routes, maybe, but it is what it is. I've just thought, got to, got to discard them and just bite my tongue and just take it from there. But we're definitely in a very low period of terrible, terrible cards. And we get Shakiri, which I don't really want. It's not the most exciting. Come on, give us something good, please. Even the boards are just completely drying up. It's not good. It's not a good sign. And when you're getting Guayata, um, you know your luck's kind of went down the pan a little bit. But the boards seem to have disappeared. They maybe went down the pub or um, went down the play park or done something. They've just completely ran away. It's completely non existent now, the boards. Our luck has maybe finally, is maybe, our, maybe our luck's kind of showing as the rest of the community. But the thing is, and I'm sure, I t and I remember tweeting out, like the 81s and 82s, the amount of them that are in that rank, and even 83s for that matter, there is like so many 81s, so many 82s, so many 83s, that you're kind of relying on a lot of luck in your favour, like probability wise. And if you're just not getting it, it's it can feel quite painful. But the way you look at it, we've not really had our um, four walkouts that I was kind of thinking the oh, come on, seriously in our four uh, sorry, in our card that we've got in the club that's untradeable. Not ideal really. So it's like two walkouts. There's absolutely no boards whatsoever now. This is actually kind of a bit worrying. That could we possibly even get this? Like, could we actually even get enough of these players to just kind of round off finishing the Icon SBC? That's probably that'll probably be summer before the upgrade. I'm going to suspect. No, it's Berkey. In fact, not summer. Why not even say summer? Summer's 84 year donut, not 82. He'd be a board. So this might. This, probably now that I've seen him, it'll be him now. Now this is super sick. Come on. Can't, I can't even remember. Like, I keep forgetting like who's not got upgrades yet and who has. And I forget Summer's much and glad back. Berkey should have had an upgrade, is what I meant. Because he should have been at least an 83 or an 84. And we get Bowman. Now we're starting to get back to back boards, which, yes, it's great, but at the same time, it would be quite nice to get a little bit better than a Bowman and a Subasic. You kind of want a little bit better. It's like aspirations are just a little tad tire game. But it is what it is. But all in all, for 40 of these, would I say they have been worth it? I would say for what I've gave up in terms of the amount of bronzes and silvers that have like no value for me, I would like, I gave up so many bronzes that don't even sell. So for me, I was quite happy that it was mostly bronzes. Um, I had quite a few untradeable golds that were no good to me. So I would say if it helps me get the base icon SDC as a result, I would say it's been worth it. Like you see us again, unfortunately we've got them already, so I'll just have to kind of take that on the chin. But this is the danger you get as well with this, and I feel this is where, if you're having like an untradeable stockpile, would just kind of help make this feel a bit more worthwhile. We're getting a board, so we've not got many left. 
A bit. Ah, oh, come on! If you're going to give me a striker that's Spanish, give me Adariz or Rodrigo. It'd be more appealing then. But we've got one left. Can we end on the board or something worthwhile? It doesn't look it. So we end with. Cortez, not the best way to end, but we've got Barkley, we've got Ozil, we've got Manalas, we've got a few that probably help towards the base icon SPC, but all in all, it has been a bit of fun, it has been a bit of a long video, but let me know in the comments down below folks what you got. Did you get yourself any informed or man of the matches, or any good walkouts? So remember to smash like as always, sub to the channel if you're new, follow me on Twitter at Legend, and I will catch you all later.